Hey everybody, welcome back, happy Monday. Uh, today we're gonna be doing total body. Uh, we're gonna work it in a circuit. I'm gonna go back to five exercises in, per round instead of having you at four. But with us doing five exercises, we're gonna be doing 20 seconds per exercise instead of 30. Um, if you wanted to relate this to something you might see outside of uh, what we do here, if you look up what's called Tabata. Um, it's very similar to that. It's where you're going to do a, a series of 5 to 10 exercises, 20 seconds per exercise, and then a little bit of rest at the end. So um, with that, 5 exercises, 20 seconds, um, and there's 3 rounds. Okay? So let's go ahead and start with our warm-up. Uh, while we're warming up, you'll notice on the ground here, I've got my little place markers because some of our exercises are going to be some of the change of direction that we did last week. Um, you're going to want to get five markers that can be washcloths, uh, rolled up t-shirts, towels, something that's soft that if you trip over it or kick it, um, you're not going to injure yourself. Um, but mine, I go with flat. Uh, and I'll show you how to set that up when we get to those exercises. Um, for the first part and some of the exercises, we're going to be doing core and stretch. I'm not going to be using a mat today because um, I just don't want to be moving a mat in and out. That's going to take up a little bit of my time. Uh, and I'd like to be working. So I'm not going to have a mat, but if you want to set one up at home off to the side, please do. Um, so it's a little easier on your elbows and knees for some of the stuff that we'll be doing. So let's come on over and let's get into our warm up. We're going to start with downward dog and you're going to raise a leg and go into world's greatest stretch. We finished with this on Friday. Um, I want to go back into this again. It's a good way to start chaining um, your stretch and mobility work together uh, to where you're not having to chunk it out um, and it'll save you a little bit of time. So let's go to a high plank. Go into my high plank, nice and steady. I'm going to push it with the palms of my hands, raising my hips up, going to downward dog. Sit into this downward dog. From here, raise your left leg up. Still driving, driving that right foot, right heel into the ground. I'm gonna step forward with my left into a lunge. If you need to, you can lower your back leg. I'm gonna pump three times gently, just these little knee drives. After three of those, then I'm gonna put my knee down and I'm gonna continue with three more knee drives. There's one, two, Here's my third. After this, I'm going to push with my hands, walk myself back like I want to sit on my right heel, gently stretching this front hamstring. I'm going to go one, back forward, coming back for two, back forward, going back for three, back forward, coming up, readjusting, bringing my left leg straight. From here, I'm going to pulse three times slowly and gently to stretch my glute and my hamstring. One, two, here's my third, three, coming back down, going back into my high plank, pushing back for downward dog. We've done our left leg, now we're going to start working with our right. Taking your right leg, point it up to the sky, hold it there for a sec. Coming down, stepping forward with that right, going into a knee drive. Really slow and gentle on these. Just trying to stretch it out, warm it up. After three of those, knee comes down and try and drive yourself into a deeper knee drive. There's my second one. Here comes my third. From here, I'm gonna be walking my hands back, slowly stretching my right hamstring. Sitting back onto that back leg, my foot is flat on the ground. Coming forward, slowly coming back. Going forward, last one, slowly coming back. Just a good deep stretch. Coming forward, switching sides. Again, go to high plank, driving with the palms back. We're gonna do one more round and then continue on with our warm up. From here, left leg goes up, hold for a sec, sweeping forward with that left, going into your knee drives. There's one, 
two, three, knee goes down, try and get a deeper knee drive now. Two, three, slowly walking back, stretching this hamstring out, foot stays flat. Coming forward, that's my first one. Here's number two. Here's number three. Coming forward. Listen up, toe up again, pulsing. Really slow pulses to just work that hamstring and glute a little more. Two and three. Okay, sweeping back, coming back to high plank, right leg last time. From here, high plank, going, driving those hips up. From here, raising the right leg. Sweeping forward, right leg plants, going into knee drives. One, two, Three, knee comes down, back knee, and make these knee drives just a little bit deeper. One, two, and three. Walking back slowly, sitting onto that back leg, stretching my right hamstring. One, two, third one. Coming forward, coming up, bring the heel up. I think I forgot this on the first round. It tells you I don't want to touch my right side. Might be a little tight today. So three pulses. One, two, here's our third. Okay, go ahead and come on up, relax. That's our ground portion right there. Now what we're gonna start with, you'll notice my blue line here. I'm gonna start doing a side lunge walk. Um, so whatever side you want to start with, I'm going to step out with my right and go into a, or step out with my left, go into a left side lunge, coming up and over into a right side lunge. That loads my right leg so I can come up, push off, step 180 degrees, plant it on that right. So I'm going to sit into that right, coming back to my left and sweeping over. Plant in left, so we go into that left, go over to my right, and sweep. I'll make this one a little shorter. Right, left, now I'm gonna switch directions. Um, so as on my right, I'm gonna sweep over, plant onto my left. And I'm just gonna work my way back down my line. Try and get two to three more in per side. And come on up and back to center. From here, we're gonna do a set of high knees. We'll do two sets of high knees, two sets of fanny kickers, and two sets of pogos. And that'll get us good and warm because we have a lot of movement going on today. So starting with our high knees, again, you're gonna kind of work into it. Once you hit that first high knee, you're gonna count on that leg for 10. And that will give you 20 high knees overall. So first set, let's go ahead and get ready, set, go. Jog into it and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And relax real quick. Trying to get that heart rate to come up a little bit. Getting ready for our second set of high knees. Again, jog into it and count on that first high knee leg. So we'll go ahead and set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And slow it down and relax. If you want, grab a drink of water. Catch your breath real quick. Now we're gonna work into fanny kickers. And fanny kickers will work the same way as with the high knees. We're just looking at counting on one leg to 10. And if you're a little tight in the quads, again, jog yourself into it. And once you get going, count on one leg. It's not like immediately fanny kickers. So 
Let's go ahead and get ready. Set. Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Couple of deep breaths. I'm gonna grab a sip myself. Getting some body movement before we work out. Knock off that chilly weekend. Got cold all of a sudden. Second set. We'll get ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. From here, we'll do two sets of pogos. And again, a refresher on pogos. I'm not looking to squat and jump at all. I'm just working my lower legs. Almost like jumping rope, okay? Just pushing off with the ankle and the ball of the foot, exploding up. Not really using my upper leg for anything except to help me land. All right, so we're looking at 15 per set, and then we'll move on. Go ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, and relax. Shake it out if you need to. Getting ready. Last set. And begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, and relax. Good job, nice work. There's our warm up. Now we'll get into the workout. Um, remember, these are gonna be 20 seconds per shot. Um, as far as the change of direction, I'm not really worried about what side you start on. My first set will start on my left side, second set will start on my right. If there's still time left wherever I am, I'll just pick up right there and keep going. But the first drill is gonna be your M drill. And for the M drill, I'm just looking at changing direction, coming up here to my first point. Once I get to my first point, I'm gonna touch, shuffle over, touch, shuffle over, touch, run and back, touch and run and over. And that's your end drill. All right, I do wanna see you guys touching, trying to get down, giving yourself enough time to touch and then go rather than leg it out and just change. You wanna be really definite with these moves, okay? So 20 seconds of M drill. And like I said, for this part, if I still have time left after the, my first round, I'll just stay on this side and go again. All right? So M drill, ready, set, go. So uh, touch, quick little shovels, touch, touch. Get ready with your set, go. Almost there. Go five. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job, nice work. From there, uh, we kind of use this as a warm up a little bit, um, but these are, you'll notice I have my blue line here. And these are gonna be forward and back line hops, but you're gonna travel with them. So if I start on my right leg, and this is my forward and back here, what I want you to do with it is travel with it at your own pace, okay? Once you get, to, like I get to the end of my line, I know I'm gonna go back. All right? So we'll do 20 seconds on one leg, and then we'll do 20 seconds on the other, and then go into a little bit of groundwork for our next two exercises. So starting on my left, traveling forward and back line hops, set, Go. At your own pace and your own distance. Mine are pretty short, almost there. Stay with it. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Getting ready, switch legs, set, go. These are gonna go pretty quick. There's not going to be a lot of break in between these exercises. Five, 
Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job, nice work. Good deep breath. Coming down to the ground. And this is the part where you can get your mat or wherever your mat is, go ahead and grab it. And we're gonna go from a high to low plank. And you'll remember, if I start low, just for a review, I push up, down, down, up, up, down, down, all right? Um, if your triceps and shoulders get really burned out, go drop to your knees and just keep that rhythm. Try to hold on to that the whole way through. So let's go ahead and get ready. I'm starting from low plank, set, go. Up, up, down, down. Now I'm switching arms while I'm doing this as well. You know, pushing left, pushing right, pushing left. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job, nice work. From here, uh, we're gonna go into push pulls. And again, that's where we're doing, we're not doing full push-ups. We're not even going down to 90. We're just doing that quick little shock absorber. Just a quick review, just these quick little pushes, okay? It gets the shoulders and triceps and chest firing a little bit to build up onto what we have in round two and round three, okay? So let's go ahead and get ready. 20 seconds of a push pause, as many reps as you can do. Set, go. Just really quick, little pops. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job, nice work. That is set one of round one. Five exercises. Kind of builds up, feels like it's a little bit of a warm up. Now this is the point where we really try to take our rest. Get our drinks of water, let our heart rate come down, and get our recovery. Because now we're gonna go right back into that M drill. From that M drill, I'm just gonna walk over, set up for my line hops, and I'm gonna just start going right into these. If, if you do them one after the other, you should get these done in about a minute and 40 seconds with a little bit of rest. If you do three sets, it's five minutes of work. So just be aware of that. It gives you an idea on how you can bust your workouts out. Okay? So starting with my M drill. Coming over. Now I'm on the opposite side. Ready, set, go. Touch, touch, touch. Touch, touch. Getting ready, go right back into it. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job, nice work. Coming over, getting ready for line hops. Starting on my left leg. Quick deep breath. Ready, set, go. Just a nice steady pace, something you can maintain. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax, good job, and work. Stay with it, opposite leg. Ready, set, go. Takes me a couple rounds to warm up to this stuff. I know my second set feels better than my first. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Coming on down. Low to high plank or high to low, it's up to you. 
I, went, I started from low, we'll go high this time. Ready, set, go. Absorbers, right? Not full push ups. Ready, set, go. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job. Two sets down, one to go. Round one is almost in the books. Go ahead and hop up. Grab a little bit of water. This is where our rest happens. So I started my M drill. I've done one on each side. Uh, ideally, if there's time, you try to get one on each side on your third set, or if you have the energy for it, just toss a fourth set in there. Nothing wrong with that. I'm only doing three. You can do three to five sets if you really want to get after it. So I'm sticking with three all day. And then we'll go from there. Let's go ahead. Coming back to your starting point. This is your last M drill. And then we'll readjust a little for the next Change the direction. Go ready, set, go. So I got one on one side. I'm gonna go for the other. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Coming over. Getting ready, starting the line hops. Ready, remember forward to the back, traveling, set, go. And these are just little line hops. They don't have to be these big jumps or bounds. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax, shake it out real quick. Nice work, good job. Last set of traveling forward and back. Ready, set, go. Keep it going, finish strong. Put this one in the bank. Move on to round number two. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax, shake it out real quick. Coming down, get ready for a high to low plank. Whether you start high plank or low plank, that's up to you. I'll go this way. There we go. Ready, set, go. set of push pulls. Last exercise of round number one. Ready, set, go. Remember shock absorber. We'll get into push-ups later. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Come on out, give yourselves a hand, good job. That's round one. Come up to standing position. Beautiful work so far. So, 
that's our first round. You might think, okay, I got about 20 to 25 minutes of work in. Uh, if that's the case, enjoy, and you want to knock off, and go enjoy the rest of the day, please do. It's a nice fall day out there. Suck up the sunshine while we got it. Um, those of us that want to stick around, come with me, and we'll tackle round two. Now, the end drill that I had set up, um, my center dot was not in the middle. It was closer to my two beginning dots to make it look more like a capital M. Now I'm going to pick this marker up, look at my dots back here. I'm going to look for close to center. All right. And that's where I want it. And we're going to get into a star drill. And the best way to look at a star drill is when I get to one of the outer dots, I have to go in and out before I can go to the next outer dot. So for me, I was shuffling and crossing over for my M drill. Now I want to make these shuffles. So if I run forward and I touch, I'm going to shuffle in and out. Shuffle, shuffle, touch, running forward, touch, shuffle, shuffle, touch, running forward, touch, go in and out. Now remember, we haven't done this yellow one. That was our starting point. We do need to come to yellow, touch, and go in and out. Once you come out, you can finish up. If there's time left, start and go again. Since I'm using more of the center, I'm gonna move my water and everything out of here. Leave a towel close to where push-ups are gonna go on. So that's our star drill, all right? Go ahead and get ready. Remember, point in and out. Set, go. So touch, shuffle, shuffle, touch. And that's finished. Three, two, one, and relax. So for me, Took me 20 seconds to get around once. From there, now we did the forward and back line hops here. Now we're gonna work laterally. So I'm gonna face my line. I'm gonna pick the left side of my line. Now I'm gonna be traveling forward and backwards on it, but I'm gonna be jumping laterally on one foot. So from here, if I start on my left, just working my way forward. Nice and easy. Once I, let's say I got to the end of my line. What I would do there is now I'm going to work backwards. Okay? That's kind of how I'm going to work that. So 20 seconds on the left, 20 seconds on the right. Let's go again. Get ready. Lateral line hops, but forward and back. Set. Go. And these are all at your own pace. Get to the end of my line, start working backwards. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job, nice work. Getting ready for the left leg. Set, go. My left leg likes this more than my right. And you're gonna find that with yourselves too. You'll feel quite a bit more comfortable hopping on one leg versus the other. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job, nice work. From there, we're gonna go into a little bit of core work. We're gonna start with leg raises. And refresher for that, go ahead and grab your mats. Laying on our backs, hands can go under our hips. Uh, helps keep the pelvis in line with the spine, and from there, just raise the legs. If this is uncomfortable, you can go to what's called a reverse crunch, and that's where you go to bent knee. Okay? So either way, 20 seconds, go ahead and get ready, set, go! 
knees are at your own pace. Just get full range of motion. Don't cut it. Go five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job. Nice work. Got some core, got some lower body. So let's add in some upper body. Now these are gonna be full push-ups and they're gonna be hand release push-ups. So you're gonna start from a high plank, go all the way down to the floor and then squeeze your shoulder blades together, raising the palms off the deck. What a hand release is, down, deck, squeeze, push. Okay, so that's your hand release. If, it, if it's really uncomfortable, do them from your knees. Uh, and you can also do this from a chair or your couch, an elevated surface, to kind of take some of the body weight out. Um, these are at your own pace. Usually if I rest, I rest on the hand release part, really get some back work in, and then press strong through the rest of the lift. So let's go ahead and get ready. I blank, set, go. At your own pace. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice work. There it is. One down, two sets to go of round number two. Come on up, relax a little bit, grab some water, and we'll get into the second set. Starting with our star drill, and just like with round one, we're going to start setting into these exercises a little bit quicker. So I started on the, my left side. I'm gonna start on my right side for this set. 20 seconds, star drill. Okay, going little shuffles in between. Ready, set, go. Shuffle. One, and relax, good job. Quick deep breath, lateral hops. I'm starting on my right leg. Get ready, set, go. Get to the end of my line, start working backwards. Five, four, Three, two, one, and relax. A couple deep breaths. I'll start on my left leg. Ready, set, go. Keep it going. Find a pace that works for you. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Beautiful work. Both legs coming down and then into our leg raises. Getting ready. Hands behind hips. Set. Go. Press five, four, three, two, one, 
and relax. Nice work, good job. Two down, one to go. Grab a little bit of water. Catch that breath. Then we go back into our star drill. Since it's a circuit, decide which side you want to start on. If you haven't done the opposite side, try it out. See how it feels a little different. Okay? A couple deep breaths, and then we'll hit our last set. Go ahead and get ready. Set. Go. Shuffle. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice work. Going into lateral hops. Okay. Ready, set, go. Last set. Don't have to look at these anymore after this. Finish strong, stay with it. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Couple, Couple deep breaths. breaths, opposite leg. Ready, go. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax, nice work. Coming down, last set of leg raises. Ready, set, go. Try to keep the intensity. Last time you see this exercise. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Almost there. One last exercise of this round of this set. Hand release push ups. Go ahead and get ready. Set, go. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job, nice work. Check that out. That's two rounds in the bank. Come on up, back to center, recover, grab some water, and at this point, we're getting close to 40 minutes. So you might be thinking, man, I got two rounds in the bank. It's still sunny out. I might go enjoy a little bit of that. If that's the case, have a great Monday. We got one more round. Come with me. Stick around for this. A little different than what we've been doing. There are six exercises in this round. Um, and it's kind of a culmination of the plyometrics and core that we did last week. So I'm gonna pick up my dots real quick. If you wanna get an elevated surface, a chair, uh, some textbooks. We're gonna be doing that Bulgarian lunge where you have one leg up with a hop. Um, so I'm gonna grab my box in just a second here. All right, here, I'll do it with the chair today. So I'm gonna use a chair for this. And this part of the workout, we're not gonna really go anywhere. It's pretty much in place. This one's gonna be a barn burner on the legs, just to let you know ahead of time. If you were looking for that leg burn versus the cardio and conditioning, this part of it should take care of that. So first exercise, 
is a Bulgarian lunge with a jump. If you get really tired of the jump, just do Bulgarian lunges or even a split squat. And what it is, is I bring a toe up. And now what I'm thinking is going straight down. I'm not trying to go forward with this into the knee. I want to go into the ground. Straight down. But if you need to change your range of motion, which I just did, then I go down to where I'm comfortable. Now when I come up, I'm not thinking of using my back leg to jump. I'm just thinking front leg. Hop and down. Hop and down. Okay? So you'll notice I'm using a chair. Chair can be really high. This is something where you can just use a textbook, put it on the ground, raise your foot up just a couple of inches even. You'll feel that front leg just engage. Because that back leg, the higher it goes, the less it's there to help you out. Okay? Closer to the ground, the easier it gets. So I'm going to start on my left leg, coming forward. 20 seconds and then we'll reset on the next leg. Go ahead and get ready. Set. Go. And these are at your own pace. You'll notice I give myself time to catch my balance. To set and then go back down. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Shake that leg out and we'll switch legs. If you find this is really, really burning, just go to a split squat stance. Notice my back leg isn't up on anything. This is a quick modification. I can just plant that back leg and hop up this way, okay? So that's the way you can switch it up to where you don't have to have your leg crazy high and still get the work in. Go ahead and get ready, set, go. Nice and steady. You got to readjust. Give yourself time to readjust. Make sure you're balanced. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job. Nice work. Now we're going to go into a split tuck jump. Chairs can sit to the side. Again, back on that leg, working unilaterally. Now we're gonna use both legs to jump up. This can just be a split jump or a split tuck jump. I come here, if it's just a split jump, notice I'm just squat jumping in a split stance. Split tuck jump, okay? Bringing my knees and feet under me. I'll do that one more time. Okay, and these are really intense. So pace is key. You wanna make sure if you're doing split tucks, those legs are coming up and you're landing really well. Give yourself time to do that. Don't land straight legged. All right, let's go ahead and get ready. Set, go. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax and work. Let's get ready, switch legs. Set, go. Relax, good job, nice work. Coming down to the ground, we're gonna go into bicycle crunches. Opposite arm, opposite knee for your bicycle crunch. So if my left arm, I'm gonna try and touch my right knee and opposite, okay? So 20 seconds, go ahead and get ready. Set, go.
Nice and steady. Let those legs extend. Try not to chop the motion. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, good job, nice work. One exercise left. These are 90 degree push-offs. Now you'll notice I'm gonna probably end up doing these on my knees. Probably gonna do them on my knees because my shoulders and triceps are burning right now. But I really wanna get that push off. I don't want this to turn into push-ups. Okay? 90 degree push-off from my knees. I'm gonna go down to 90, set, and then explode. Okay? Readjust. Looks like I want to slide away. So this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> Solve that problem. Um, if you're going to do these from a high plank, again, you don't want to just push up. You want to be able to come explode off the ground and catch yourself. But 20 seconds worth, knees, high plank, that's up to you. Okay? Let's go ahead and get ready. 90 degree push-ups. Set. Go. Almost there, stay with it. Go five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job, nice work. That's set number one. Hop up, grab some water. Quick deep breath. Let me bring my water up. hard when we're doing these five, six exercises, like, oh yeah, I gotta drink water. Gotta make sure we stay hydrated. Okay? So, getting ready uh, with the Bulgarians. Again, whatever leg you wanna start with, 20 seconds. Give yourself time to set and balance before you go again. Foot up or on the ground, that's up to you. Ready, set, go. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax and switch legs. Going a little bit quicker this time. Ready, set. Go. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job. Coming up, getting ready. Uh, split jump or split tuck jump. Get set, and go. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax, nice work. Switch legs, get ready. Let's keep that burn going. Keep that heart rate high. Set, go. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax, good job. Coming back down to the ground. Heading for our bicycle crunches. Remember, remember, bicycle crunches to push-offs. Getting ready, set, go. Get your bicycle crunches going. Five. 
five, four, three, two, one, and relax, and work. Last exercise of set number two, going into push-offs. Ready, set, begin. 90 degrees, explode up, push off and catch yourself. Reset and go again. At your own pace. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job, nice work. Round number two, set number two, or round three is in the bank. Grab some water, catch your breath. We've got one set left, and that'll roll, roll us into Monday night. Beautiful day. Like I said before, Bulgarian lunges, uh, you can always tone stuff down. Um, you get really strong over the weeks and months. You might get to the point where you might have a water bottle in your hand while you're doing your jumps or a backpack, adding another dynamic to it. And that's, what, that's where we'll go heading towards the holidays. Let's go ahead. This is our last set. This is awesome. A couple deep breaths. Prepare yourselves for our last set. Bulgarian lunge jump. Ready, set, go. You'll notice I am pumping my arms. Let them help me out. My torso has a lot of energy to give to move like this. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Shake it out a little bit. Switching legs. Getting ready. Set. Go. Almost there. So close. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Beautiful job. That closes out Bulgarian lunge. Getting ready. Split jumps or split tuck jump. Up to you. Ready, set, go. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax, good job. Let's reset, opposite leg. Let's keep those heart rates going and begin. push-ups. Go ahead and get ready. The last exercise of this workout. Stay with it. Finish strong. Set. Go. Good job. 
kickoff of Monday shakes off the cobwebs and the chilliness of the weekend. So there's going to be a little change up for Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be our stretching core because uh, on Friday I would like to send you off into Halloween in a really good fashion. So <laughs> I'll give that food for thought, but it should be a lot of fun. Uh, so come on back on Wednesday for some stretching core. I hope you guys had fun today. I had a great time. Look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. If you need to get a hold of me, you can reach me at Coach Whalen at overlake.org with uh, questions, comments, or concerns. Or if you just want to say hi, please do. I'd love to hear from you. With that, enjoy your Monday night and have a great next couple days. See you Wednesday. Bye bye.